Then there's Terminator 2 3D Battle Across Time, where you get to visit Cyberdyne's facility and witness a presentation hosted by their own prototype of Flo the Progressive Girl. We are going to take a real quick look at this lovely video presentation, which I personally supervise. It's going to let all of you get to know us here at Cyberdyne just a little bit better. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Cyberdyne. Ah, I feel at ease already. Imagine a world where butterflies run on batteries. A world of unnecessary interference with nature. Where contact lens neural vision enhancers make human error. A thing of the past. Load up on the ice, steroids, kids. Losing is impossible now. Our goal, complete domination of global communications. This is a relic from an era when complete global domination sounded like a charming thing. Cyberdyne systems will unveil the most powerful thinking machine ever imagined. Skynet. Skynet satellites, in orbit high above the Earth, can read the license plate of any car, in any city, anywhere in the world. Use it on long road trips to cheat on the license plate game. Cyberdyne Systems, the future of information systems and robotics, the future of national defense. Cyberdyne Systems, off the f Are we in? Easy money. Ah, oh, damn, I hate when I get Edward Furlong rolled. Now listen to me very carefully. Only days after its completion, the Skynet computer will turn against us, launching an all-out war against mankind. The battle will last over 30 years, with the fate of the human race at stake. How do I know this? How do I know what's in the future? Because the future paid me a visit. And it was nice enough to drop off a DVD of a movie about me. We defended us to the very end, sacrificed himself. No, don't show this, you'll make Simon Pegg cry. Skynet must never be completed. Not as long as there is imagination left in the world. Get out of the building. You have been warned. You have five minutes before we wait. Sorry about that, folks. We now return to hour six of the Cyberdyne PSA. And you'll witness perhaps Cyberdyne's greatest breakthrough. An incredible new technology that will change your world today. Their new breakthrough is the robot from the Black Lagoon. Okay, I know this pre-show is dated, but it's as close as we're ever getting to a Quantum Leap attraction, so let's accept it. So we enter Cyberdyne's keynote room, where Steve Jobet demonstrates the brand new Terminators. Fortunately, our 3D glasses keep us safe from the gunfire. Yep. But then the true brilliance of this show begins, as lookalikes run around on stage matching up and lip-syncing to the footage of the actors from the movie. Man, it must be a thankless job being these stage actors, having to replicate exact motions filmed over 20 years ago without adding your own artistic flair. But they really help sell the show, making it feel like these characters are really stepping out of this movie we're watching. It's like the last action hero of Schwarzenegger movies that people actually saw. But then Arnold Schwarzenfaker rides in on his motorcycle, shoots Robert Faketrick, and brings Edward Fakelong safely into the future, where... We throw any pretense of being in the Cyberdyne world or witnessing an actual event out the window in favor of an ordinary 3D narrative short film. At least for a while. I don't care! I'm still free! You can't take the Skynet from me! Oh no, Weebo from Flubber has gone rogue! Hey Carl, if you're on your way out, can you grab me a butterbeer? Okay, now which way is the Jaws ride? Hey, Puckadad! Hey, I can see my cheap 3D gimmick from here. Curry. So they infiltrate Skynet, and we're back to the live lip syncers. Smile, we're on camera. Well, the famous guy we hired you to look like is on camera anyway. So then our live not Arnold fights our CGI liquid metal guy and attacks him by blowing up liquid nitrogen. We'll freeze him out! And this buys just enough time for John to escape through the movie screen while the Terminator sacrifices himself again. So, the battle continues, and once again, I find I owe my son's life to the heroic actions of the machine. A pacemaker. Terminator. Him too. So that was Terminator 2 3D, which is my absolute favorite thing James Cameron has ever made. 
The story is just as goofy and unsubtle as his movies tend to be, but he's a man who loves playing with technical innovation, and this was the perfect playground for him. And at just around 15 minutes, just around 25 if you include the pre-show, this is the perfect running time for him. And that's why I, for one, am optimistic about Avatar Land.